What's going on guys? Out here on the back porch. Got the lake back yonder. I'm not doing lake reviews until uh, um, the heat subsides and these mosquitoes go to, go to sleep. So I can't with them. And like spraying the, uh, the spray, it works. But whatever spot you didn't get, they're gonna they're gonna bite that spot. So you have to like coat your entire body. All right, guys, we got a free beer, free beer alert, free beer alert, because this is a style I don't like. This is a go goza. When I first heard about this style of beer, I called it a goz. A lot of people have called it a goz. It's a goza. Um, this is from Tucker Brewing Company. This is Goziana. Uh, I have a friend that works at Tucker Brewing Company, and he gave me, I said, hey, man, I went up there just to see him hang out, and I, when I was leaving, he says, hey, man, you want some free beer? I says, hell yeah, I want some free beer. Which, which one can I get? He was like, nah, nah, it's a style you don't really like, but it's, I'm going to give you a bunch. He gave me a case of these, so I have four six-packs of these. This, uh, this Sour Goza Ale has notes of sea salt and coriander. 4.5%, 9 IBUs. I don't like this style, but this beer was free. You know, he looked out for me. That's good to have friends like that, isn't it? Because I didn't expect it. It's always awesome when you don't expect it. They just surprise you with it. Hey, man, we'll give you some free beer. Seesaw balances our Goziana and coriander delivers a zesty citrus spice on the nose. There is a considerable yet approachable sourness that complements this beer's solid wheat backbone, a refreshing beer that can be enjoyed year-round. It pairs well with lobster, chips and salsa, and cheese. Huh. Which I noticed at their brewery, because they have, they have a full kitchen. Their kitchen is like kitchen, it's, uh, excuse me, German-inspired. So we had like schnitzel and giant pretzels with beer cheese. And they would tell you each dish which beer to pair it with. That's cool they did that. I think more breweries should do that. Um, no head at all. Hardly any carbonation. Smells like the ocean. He told me this got discontinued. That's why they're giving it away. The name. Apparently there's a show or a movie called Goziana. I never heard of it. But he said that because of the name, they had to discontinue this beer. So he's just giving them. He says, more where that came from. He said, man, I can go back and get another case. I, oh, I don't know. Smells like the ocean. I get that sea salt for sure. A little bit of wheat. This is like... This is giving me Bud Light Lime vibes. Cheers. Mmm. Tastes better than Bud Light Lime. This reminds me of that lemon... That lemon and salt. That limon. You guys uh, saw my review in Arizona when I had a, 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 a saw. S-O-L. A lemon and salt. Limon, this is real similar to that. So I actually do like this. And it says sour ale. So I guess you could say this is out of all the sours I reviewed. I usually hate them. This is actually pretty good. And I'm pleasantly surprised. And I'm happy that my boy gave me a case of these. Because I like this. Yeah. Good post-workout beer. With the salt. Replenish you. Go for a hike, cut the grass. You've been sweating. Yeah, this is refreshing. Only thing this is missing actually is a lime. So the next time I drink this, I will have a lime in, inside the glass. Yeah. Wow. All right, Tucker Brewing Company, which um, my drawback with them, because I'm looking at their menu, I'm like, where are the IPAs? And my boy's like, they don't have any. They're a German-inspired brewery, so a lot of uh, uh, Pilsners, Lagers, Gozas, um, and a couple others I can't, couldn't pronounce, like Czech-style Lagers, and like, you know, it was no IPAs at all. None. And I was like, I gave him that face. He was like, I know, man. He was like, he gave me a Pilsner. He was like, we give this to the IPA lovers, and it was actually pretty good. It just was low ABV. It was like 4.5%, 4, 4. just like this. I could do this, you know. Like I said, after a workout, after cutting the grass. Now, would I get a six-pack of these? No, I have 
four six packs, but I didn't pay anything for them. Would I buy a six pack of these? Maybe if I had a get together, upcoming get together, I feel like people that are not big drinkers, this is right up their alley. Like if you're not a big drinker, you know, for my ladies who can drink one glass of wine and about to fall over, this is for you. Something you can sip on, super sessionable. You can have three or four of these. And I mean, I could drink, my boy knows why he gave me the case. I could drink a, a six pack and then go for a workout, go for a, a nature hike. That'd be my pre my pre workout. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is good, and I'm not saying it because it was free, but the fact that it was free, this is amazing. Had I bought it, eh, maybe I wouldn't give it such a great review, but I still would say, for a sour, really good, really good. But I recommend anybody likes sours, anybody likes gozas. Well, I can't recommend it because you can't get it. So you guys are hearing a review on a beer that will not be released. But at least you've heard of it. Thank everybody for watching. Your boy Blue Eyes. Cheers.